guess where we're going? It's harvest day. And today I need to get this out. We are going to get the ginger turmeric. Oh, let's see what we have here since I didn't do it all last year. So let me tell you a little bit about ginger and turmeric and the ones that I have. Mine were both bought from the grocery store. Now you've got to be careful because a lot of times they have a growth inhibitor on it. But if you soak it overnight, you can hope that it will come off so you can plant it. And you'll see when it's ready to grow, it'll get little white nodules to it. So I'm going to just do a quick rundown today on ginger and turmeric and what is the difference as far as growing them. They grow very similar. And as you can see here, I grow them in flower pots. Small, tight flower pots are actually the best way to grow your ginger and turmeric. They like being confined. Now ginger grows along the top, just about one to two inches from the very top, where turmeric will grow on the top, but it will send down the rhizomes all the way to the very bottom of the pot, which is really interesting. So think about it, plant it the same, but they will grow differently. They are so packed, look how bent this is. So here I'm gonna just, in this video, just get it all out because it literally took me almost two hours to go through all this. I couldn't believe how much there was in just the small few pieces I had been working with over the past okay, few years. Okay, the table is now empty. Look at that. Everything's empty except I did not do the black turmeric yet. I'm going to do that another day, but look at that. There is nothing left. They're all empty. And what I'm starting to do is return the leaves that I pulled out. I've got a whole thing of leaves here. See all the leaves I've got there? And those I can put on the bottom. I'll put some colored leaves and then I'll pack it with the soil I pulled out. I've got two wheelbarrows full of soil packed with earthworms. Now let me show you what I ended up with, which isn't bad when you consider each one had like a small piece or two inside. Here is the ginger and I'm, I've got to wash it, but I don't want to wash it until I'm either going to keep them or plant them. So if I'm going to replant them, I don't want to wash them. I'm just going to let them dry a little bit, clean off the roots, break them into the pieces I want, and then get them into their pots. Now, the reason I don't want to wash them is, well, it's going to be extra work, number one. And number two, I'm planting a lot of them back. The ones I'll wash are the ones I'm going to keep, and then I'll freeze some. Now, here's a nice big hand. There's a whole bunch of them. Now, this is gorgeous. Now, let me tell you something on this. The roots, see the roots there? They don't grow. What's growing is the top. It's already growing back. It's getting ready to take off. And really to harvest the ginger in the fashion of in, in which I did should have been done about three months ago as soon as it died back and I just never got to it. But all in all, I am really, really happy with all of it that grew. And secret, grow them in a pot because the easiest way to harvest them is to dump it upside down, fish through all that soil, get out what you want, prepare what you want to grow, and then you can go on with the next season. A tote is too hard to grow ginger and turmeric in. A flower pot is the easiest way to do it. So that's a hand of turmeric. Look how beautiful that is. I did hose that off a little bit so you could see it. I'm not going to wash all this because it's got everything in there to grow, everything you want in the soil. So there's no reason for me to wash it and then put it back in the soil. So Plant them in pots if you want to have great success. Plant them where they get morning and afternoon sun, but not late afternoon. I have found that turmeric and ginger, especially in warmer areas like Southern California, Arizona, Nevada, they do not like the heat. So if you get them in morning sun, early afternoon, you're going to have a huge production just like me. And this has been amazing. There's about 20 pounds though of just ginger and turmeric was about 15 to 20 pounds and it grows fantastic. And I am very pleased. And before you know it, once they're planted in the next few months, when the weather really gets warm, the table is just going to burst back to life and we will have all the ginger and turmeric we want. But in the meantime, remember, you can harvest and eat them 
anytime you want. You don't have to wait until they die back. You can harvest them as they're growing, reach in with a knife, cut off what you want, and just cover it back with soil. And remember the little pieces of skin that I planted? Those were them, the little tiny ones. So I hope I have given you ideas and thoughts on how to grow ginger and turmeric. Why not? It's fun, it's easy, and it tastes good, and it's healthy too. You can make ginger tea, you can take turmeric and just eat it like Gary does, like a carrot, just slice it up, put it in a salad. It is so good for you. So that's it. Now you got to see what came out of there and not too bad. Especially turmeric grows a little slower, but all in all, from the grocery store, I think I did pretty good. Considering I didn't do it last year and I let it go. I did a few of them last year. That's bad. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You want to do it every year. When they die back, you want to get them out of the pot. You want to clean them up. Just dust them off. You want to put them somewhere in a in paper bag, someplace in a nice dry area. Not too dry. You don't want to dry them out. And then come spring when the weather is warm and we're still not quite warm enough. It likes warmer nights. It will grow. But as you saw, they're just starting to show growth. Like this one. This is, see the see lump right there? Let me see if you can see that. Okay, I'm trying to get the camera to focus and it is not. Don't focus on me. Okay, see the white right there? That is just starting to show some growth. So it is getting ready. So I can get these back in. I just have to make sure I don't water them because I watered them way too much. And the same thing on the ginger. See the white there? This is new growth. So it is getting ready to grow. So I can clean this up. These roots don't do anything the following year. So you can take all the roots off on the ginger. On the turmeric, it's a little different. You can leave the roots if you want. I can't get it apart. Well, you got the idea. Let me see. All right, there we go. Now with the turmeric, you can just plant it just like that. Don't worry, there's no right side. You're gonna either go this way or this way. I would probably plant it like this. The top roots I would probably clean off, but I probably will separate this. See all the new growth growing right there? I will put that up and I will break this into pieces and then we'll also enjoy eating this as well. But not bad for, for ginger and turmeric from the grocery store. So in the next few days, I'm gonna get it all planted and hopefully in a few months, it will look like it did here. Ask questions because I have the full two hour video of me harvesting it. And I want to answer as much questions as possible because I want you to grow it. It's so easy to grow and so cheap to grow too. So have a great day. Plant some. It's easy. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Boy, this was a lot more work than I thought. I thought I was going to come out here and have this done in five minutes. What is it? An hour and a half later. It's done. That's all I care about. It's done. What do you mean it's done? It's not done. Now you got to plan it. I thought that was a lot of work. I just planted this. I got the video. Oh my gosh. It took me over an hour. And that's not the worst of it. I told Gary yesterday, gee, I didn't seem to grow that much turmeric and ginger. And he said, are you kidding me? I wasn't kidding him. didn't even make a dent. The whole thing is full. Here comes Gary. Remember I told you yesterday it didn't look like I had that much? Yes. They're all planted. <laughs> and after I looked at all this, I realized I didn't even make a dent planting all that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they are. They're but that's full. That's all turmeric. I, it's heavy too. And I still have a whole real burl of uh, soil. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Well, ask questions because this is the short video. And if you want to see the long one, ask it. So maybe I can answer your questions. But this is it. Oh my goodness. And with that, again. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Oh. Gosh. <laughs>